All right. And we're back. I'm gonna talk to Chris. Jason says that I am to cooperate with you on the final tasks necessary to launch the great journey. Hmm. Oh, I already know who you are. I was close to completing work on the rockets before we were driven into hiding on the top floor. Two components were missing. A quantity of isotope 239 igniting agent and a set of thrust control modules. The igniting agent is highly radioactive and decays quickly. That's why we can't use the drums that leak down on the launch pad. It's no longer potent enough. I need you to find an intact, shielded container of the igniting agent. As for the thrust control modules, they were custom built for these rockets. They won't even launch without them. Very well. We don't need a huge amount. Two to three liters should be enough. All right, we actually have that. Yes, that's the stuff. And the container shielding must be intact or you'd be dead by now. Now all I need is the thrust control modules. Okay. So we'll go ahead and get that. I just restarted the session because I completely scrubbed it up. And uh, we're going to pretend I didn't. But uh, I just did this a minute ago. So, uh, Anyways, we're going to go back to Gibson Scrapyard, which is why I found that a while ago. And if you didn't know, we already found the, uh, the agent at the test site or whatever it's called. So also, hey. This dog's kind of you. What the fuck? I don't want to know. Anyways, oh, sorry, Ray. That's the one that she gets rid of later. Hi there. I'm old lady Gibson, or so they tell me. I've got odds and ends for sale, and I'm pretty good at fixing things, too. You might have noticed the very large building just north of here. That's Helios 1. The NCR runs the place, so it's off-limits to prospectors. So sweet. As it so happens, I do have some thrust modules, mm. but they're expensive. 500 caps worth of expensive. Ha! <laughs> yes, you are quite the smooth talker. What the hell? 250 it is. Yeah, don't fucking gouge me. Pleasure doing business with you. So. So, you're back. Let's also go ahead and have her repair. Oh. What the hell? Why is my... Oh. What? Oh, I don't have any money. Oh, I'm so stupid. So let's go ahead and sell all the goodies we got from the dungeon. That will make life a lot easier. Um, I so want to use that. I always say I want to make my character a energy character, but I just never do it. Um, and let's go ahead and sell this. Not that. This. And I know this is a unique item, but I've already got one on like 800 characters I played. So I'm not like hurting for it, you know what I mean? Um, let's go ahead and get rid of these. She doesn't have a very big amount of... No, not the Vault 13 Canteen. You can't get rid of that. That's just eternal. That's like Doom Eternal, man. You just can't... You can't get rid of that. Um, she doesn't have a very big amount of supplies, so she's not a good vendor, but you can always use her to sell items if you're doing a, like, run like that. Uh, does she have anything I can actually make use out of? She has a stim pack. Wow. I mean, that's the eternal struggle of this game, I guess, is not enough stim packs. You're doing business with and let's go ahead and go repair her hunting rifle. And that'll do it. So we don't need to know why they call her Old Lady Gibson. It's pretty obvious, I would hope. She's old and her name's Gibson. So we'll go back to the Repcon test site. And I haven't mentioned this yet, but you can use this little doodad over here. I don't think it opens up until you've reached this point in the quest. I'm, I'm very certain you can't. Um, but yeah. This session, if I don't fucking botch it like I did last time, which was hilarious, um, you should be able to get quite a few stuff done this... Sorry, I'm so tired. I have coffee, but that does not mean I'm 100% awake. I've been fucking diddling around all day. I just recycled like $180 worth of cans. I'm just so done. So, let's talk to Chris. Have you found the components we discussed? Hmm... Indeed you 
did, and they seem to be in excellent condition. Yes, I'll tell Jason that the great journey can begin. Cool. So now we can go ahead and head out of here while he's doing his thing. And yeah, that's pretty much the uh, the quest. We just got to go to the observatory, and that's it. And now Jason's going to start yelling. May the creator guide my words and help me speak true. The almighty creator has seen fit to answer our prayers. The time has come for us to board the rockets and begin the great journey. Though it may seem that all humans despise us, the creator has seen fit to instruct us differently. The journey ahead would have been impossible if not for the intercession of two human friends, one you, the other a long abiding companion. To our new friend, we say thanks. And. and? Oh, I broke the dialogue. But basically, he says Chris is not actually a ghoul, and it really destroys his feelings, and he basically fucks off back to Novak. Which is understandable, I guess, but, you know, I think Chris could have realized by the lack of his, you know, rotted skin and uh, lack thereof of a voice. I think you would kind of figure it out eventually. You would hope. But yeah, this quest is not too bad. You can also tell Chris that they lied to him and he can actually kill them. And uh, this scene plays out totally differently. So you can do that, but I mean, I'm going to try and be a nice person, right? I try to be a nice person in this game. It's hard, but it is doable. And Flight of the Valkyries would play here, but I'm just not doing that. I've heard it a million times, and plus I had the music turned off, so... Now, whether or not they actually made it into space, uh, I like to think they didn't. <laughs> I I don't know. So you can see we're actually liked in Novak now, and we do have enough XP to level up, which is pretty fucking dope. And I like that. I like that a lot. Let's go ahead and get... Mm, I'm going to go with getting Cowboy. So, Cowboy won. Um, and we're going to eventually spec into 75 on the next level as well. That way we can do a couple other things. So, Cowboy, this is a pretty solid one. Any revolver, lever action firearm, and the other things are unnecessary. But, this is a huge, huge buff. Um, so another thing we're going to work on afterwards is also going to be Grunt, which we need 20 explosives for. Actually... I'm going to start pumping into that. But, um, yeah. Cowboy is going to have to do for now. This is a solid damage upgrade. And, uh, trust me, it's a solid one. And <laughs> it's totally worth it. Um, there's a lot of, like, abilities and stuff from perks that are kind of broken. But you want to get ones that are effective towards your playstyle. If you're going for a melee character, I wouldn't recommend getting Cowboy, but like I said, I don't really think I've ever made a melee character in this game, or Fallout 3 for that matter. So, my opinion on it really is kind of not important, I'd hope. And you're probably like, Seth, why, why are you picking up those rebar clubs? They actually sell for quite a bit, so I'm going to take them with me as well. I wasn't kidding, man, when I said I know how to make money in this game and it never becomes a problem for me. It's because I'm a fucking compulsive like, looter in video games. I mean, it's probably a habit that I should kick someday, but it's not like smoking or anything, and that's not bad for you either. So, oh, I'm just kidding. Smoking's terrible for you. I don't smoke, but still, the, uh, the entirety of this game to me revolves around just getting stronger and stronger and stronger until you're eventually so fucking strong that you can be unkillable, which is... I mean, the whole point of this playthrough is to show you how very hard and hardcore is difficult, but it's totally doable. I don't think I need that paint gun. I did not mean to pick it up, but I'm not going to sit there and fuck around and pick up everything in that pile. But I haven't even mentioned this is a new session. I did that last time. You weren't here because I fucked it up. <laughs> but um, 
I've got some black coffee next to me. It's it's iced, uh, oh, what the hell flavor. Seattle's best vanilla flavor, and that's it. I don't like fancy coffee. I like just straight-up black coffee. The vanilla was already pre-baked into it, so I'll, I'll take it for what it is. So let's go ahead and go back to Novak. Now, I do have a plan for the uh, episode here, so don't, don't, don't feel like I'm crazy. Oh, fuck you, Victor. And there's Chris. He, uh, he's not looking too hot now, is he? Leave me alone. Okay. I'll let you do your thing then, man. So, <laughs> the reason we're going to go back here as well is because once you're liked in Novak, you can talk to Cliff... I don't know if you know, but since Jeannie May passed, I've been keeping an eye on her properties for her. I think it's time we gave everything back to you, so take this key and make yourself at home at our motel. It'll open the room on the second floor, closest to the lobby. Hope it suits you. I swear you could tell him that you killed her, but I don't know why I can't do it. It's not important. So, we're gonna go ahead and sell all this crap. I'm not worried about... Actually, let's go ahead and repair the rebar clubs. I did this on the test record. And it did not end well, either. So let's just do that. We'll get our repairing stuff thing taken care of as well. So what's my plan? Uh, probably to do Coyotes this episode. Welcome back. Um, coyotes is a pretty easy quest, but I also have other plans, too. We're probably going to level up. Actually, maybe that wasn't a better idea. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. So we do have some solid uh, damage now, though, because that, that bonus is forever. We always have that damage bonus now. Oh, I wish I could get, like, fucking, oh. I want my ranger armor, man. That's one of my favorite armor sets in the game. Not just because it looks fucking cool as hell, but I also just love the damage increase. Or, sorry, the damage reduction on it is super solid, and it's lightweight. It's medium, but it's it's light. And it's it's just totally worth it, man. Um, Don't need drugs. In case you haven't noticed, we haven't used any drugs this entire playthrough either. I like to keep that as like a... I almost said conduct. Wow. I haven't been playing NetHack, but that's the first thing that went through my mind too. Um, unless you're a normal human being and you've never played NetHack, then... Well, good job. Um, you've made it far in life without hating yourself. I also play RuneScape, so that's something. Um, let's see. So we need stim packs uh, for sure. That's... You always need stim packs, man. I can't stress it enough. You need stim packs, Rataway, and doctor's bags. You always need these things. If you don't have a plenty supply of those before you go questing, along with ammo, of course, you're just doing it wrong, man. I'm sorry. Um, I'll take the 5.56s five, as well. I mean, I do want to stock up mainly because... We are at the point in the game where we can start really doing some quests, which is solid and standard, but... We do need to make sure we're keeping an eye on the fact that we are playing in the hardest difficulty and it's also hardcore mode, so we need to manage our stats and our items very accordingly. I mean, it's not, like, super difficult, but part of the joy I have in these kinds of games is mitigating the challenge because it makes it doable. So this is the hotel room. I'm sorry, motel room. There is a difference between hotels and motels. One, hotels have a lobby, motels have a parking lot and a check-in area. They don't actually have, um, you know, like, the fancy cool shit. So, this is actually all safe. So you can go in here and throw on your stuff and have a grand old time. And it will never disappear. And it's one of the very few in the entire game. So, oh man, the test record I had sexy sleepwear in there. Oh, it's not fair. I can't get sexy. Alright, so. Anyways. First things first, and I cannot stress this enough, um, we need some stim packs, so let's go ahead and go back to the Mojave Outpost. Um, and I'm actually going to see, I'm pretty sure Ghost has some unique dialogue, because we killed Cook Cook in a future... Jesus Christ! Past episode! So, actually, what's my armor sitting at? I haven't looked at it in a while. We're at DT13, and we're at, like, halfway. That's not terrible. Um, but yeah, we're gonna be working on Grunt next, and 75 science is more important, though. And hey! Oh, I thought she had a unique dialogue. I know Pretty Sarah does. That's an NPC we're gonna run into in a little bit. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and get our, our goodies here. Like I said, you can recruit Cass 
but uh, okay. I'll do it later. So what do we got to trade? I don't think I've picked her clean yet. That sounded awful. I did not even think about it. Let's pick her clean. Hmm. So that was a fucking Chris Chan moment there. Wow. With the sound effect, too. Holy shit, I am just on fire today. Uh, I'm not worried about money, as you can clearly see. I could technically get into the New Vegas Strip right now, but I don't think I want to. I'll do it eventually, trust me. It's it's a requirement. But I'd rather get some supplies before we do that. Now we can also go to Boulder City, which is where I'm going to get a map marker for. But yeah, I guess we'll do the Boulder City quest next. That's actually a more likely thing people would do. Let's go to Prim. Um, because, yeah, most players on their first time aren't going to do what I did, which was go all the way fucking in through Deathclaw Valley. And, like, come out the other side completely unclean. Somewhat. I did come in, like, some fucking guns blazing shit in my mind, but I'm like, eh, no, whatever. So, I'll do it somewhat like a normal player would do. And you should have stim packs. One. Ugh. Why are you so broke? I forgot your name. I was going to say it, but then I'm like, I don't think I know his name. Uh, let's see. Anything else I can buy from you? 10 millimeter rounds for sure. And hollow points. I really can't stress it enough. When you can get, like, hollow points and armor piercing rounds, capitalize on it, dude. It is so fucking important. The main reason is, is because I like how they're like, Prim as a new sheriff in town as you're in Prim. Um, I want to see if that fucking scorpion shows up. If it does, I'm going to be salty. You see, it's so fucking weird. In my other game, I have a fucking giant rad scorpion spawn right here every time. I don't know why it does that. I showed it to my roommate, too. She's like, what the fuck? Gonna buy some supplies? So, anyways. Um, doctor's bag and some stim packs. No, I don't need salesman weekly. Keep your fairy tales in the trash. Uh, I'd like some more 10 millimeter rounds and maybe nines if you have them. I think I have plenty of 357 for now, for the time being. Uh, but yeah, you really want to get as many hollow points and everything as you can. And it may not seem like it's important, but it is. And they they really, really do make a difference. Uh, because once you start doing, like, the harder dungeons, like... And by dungeon, I mean quest areas, too. Um, like, the legendary dungeons, which have, like, the geckos and stuff in them you want to have all those rounds specifically for those enemies because they will take a fucking beating at least in this difficulty they will so you want to have every single advantage you can possibly get uh i want to make sure i also have as many items as i can i think we're good we're good shopping for now then so we're going to go back to novak probably just made the most roundabout fucking way possible but it was worth it. Um, I like how I didn't go here and it very much shows. So let's go to Novak. It'll probably be midday. Yeah, I don't, I don't think Boone's out here yet. We can actually talk to Manny. Fuck off, Victor, you creepy bastard. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure Manny's still up there. And he'll actually mark Boulder City on our map for me. Um, because I don't actually remember where Boulder City is specifically, because Boulder City is such a one-and-done area that I don't re Oh, hi! Do you have any luck with the ghouls? No. Counting on you. I'll count on my fucking fist! Really? Unbelievable, man. I knew that wasn't gonna be easy. But I had a good feeling about you. You look like you've been through a lot. Hmm. Now we're talking. Okay. I'll tell you everything I know. Like I promised. The guy you're looking for, Benny, he was traveling with some members from my old gang. They were going to Boulder City. No clue. I know Benny hadn't paid up yet. Maybe that was where they were supposed to get square. It's straight up Route 93 from here. Just keep following the road north. Hope that helps. I owed you. So, yeah. Idolized. Ooh. I don't think there's any special bonus for being idolized, honestly. Can we tell Cliff that I killed her? Welcome back. Can I, get I swear to God you can tell him that you, you basically killed Jeannie Mae. 
Not like it's a huge loss to society, but man, I, I just wish I could say it to him because she's a horrible human being. So, 1,000... I mean, we can probably do coyotes, I'm pretty sure. Uh, well, there is a speech check here, and that's what I'm concerned about because I want to make sure I can at least... Ah, damn. We'll see what I can do about it, because this will also give us some uh, NCR fame as well. Dehydrated? Oh, I'll give you dehydrated. My fucking fist. I don't think that would dehydrate anybody. I, I'd probably break my hand. I'm really dexterous, but I'm not strong. That's the thing, is I don't, I don't weightlift or shit like that. And there's Boulder City over there. Um, I just do, like, yoga and stretching and martial arts so <laughs> i'm pretty fucking weird if you couldn't tell already but still so boulder city is very very minor there is a trading post there i think it's just a bar um and if we keep following the road up here i'm pretty sure you can come across the gypsum train yard which also houses blind death claws so you don't want to get too fucking crazy uh, in this part of the game. That's all I can tell you, man. You really don't want to. Rangers, give them hell. I love it. Don't wait another damn minute. Is that actually a real Hoover Dam ad? I'm curious. Because I... <laughs> I've never been anywhere like that, so you couldn't... You could probably tell me it's real, and I'd be like, oh, okay. Like, <laughs> it's like that, man. It really is. Um... Oh, Bark Scorpions. Like, there's something in here, isn't there? Uh, bark scorpions, by the way, they're not terrible. I mean, they they can do some problems, like they can cause like a sickness sort of thing, but they're not ultimately that dangerous. I believe there is. Do I have the? Uh, whatever. Let's. I hate hacking. Now you guys get to see how I hack, and it's really boring and shitty, and I hate it. So, New Vegas, I think I've mentioned has. A couple unique things about it with hacking. And the main one that's different is if you fucking mess up a terminal and you back out of it, it takes longer to log into it the next time. Uh, let's try anywhere. Uh, intercom. So, I'll show what I mean. So if I wait a few seconds, it'll reset itself and be like, okay, and then I'll be able to do it again. I don't even remember what's on that terminal. I guess it might be to disengage that lock, so I, I might as well do it. I absolutely hate hacking. If there's any actual better way to do it, please tell me. Synopsis. Shrugged. It's probably... Uh, let's see if I can get a reset. <laughs> yeah. Uh, strength. Stronger? Yeah, that's how you fucking do it. That's what real hacking's like, man. Now you guys get to see my fucking top-notch hacking method here. Uh, that's not too bad. A stealth boy's pretty handy. Um, and we'll do the Boulder City Showdown, I'm pretty sure is what it's called. This might actually get me a level, I, I would assume. So there's not much point in talking to the woman in the bar, unless you want fluff dialogue, but I'm not too worried about it. I don't actually know if wearing this NCR armor is a good idea in here because the Great Cons, which are going to be holed up in there, actually dislike uh, NCR. And if you're wearing uh, NCR items when you go into their territory, they'll instantly turn hostile on you. I made that mistake like a month ago, and it was a very fun mistake to find out. Uh, that's not too bad. We're cut off. There's a lot of these little things here and there. Does that have DT on it? Oh, it does. It has one. A whopping one DT. Wow. That is fucking solid, man. Okay. I don't actually know the entirety of the uh, Boulder City quest. I'm sure if I looked on my own time, I'd find it out. I know those mailboxes do something. I just don't remember. We've got a situation with some great cons right now. The brass of McCarran has ordered me to lock down the ruins until it's been resolved. One of my patrols was on its way back from Novak when it came under fire from the Great Khans. They radioed for reinforcements, but instead of waiting for us, they chased the Khans into the ruins where they were caught in a crossfire. No deaths, 
but not all the squad got out. The cons have Private Ackerman and Private Gilbert as hostages. Once the great cons have been killed or captured, you're welcome to retrieve any property they've taken from you. Normally I'd turn you down since I have no idea who you are, but considering that the hostages are as good as dead when we attack, all right, I'm going to give you a chance to talk to the great cons. Their leader is a man named Jessup. If we hear shooting, we'll be coming in, but it'll probably be too late for you. Good luck. All right, I'm actually gonna make a save because I, I know you need to have a speech check uh, to do this. I just cannot remember if I have the actual stats for it, but we'll find out. I'd love to resolve this peacefully, but I don't know if that's gonna happen. We're gonna find out though, won't we? Uh, that's the magic of uh, having quick saves and stuff, right? So let's go ahead and talk to Jessup in here. You can talk to the great cons too. That courier Benny wasted back in Good Springs. He's supposed to be dead. Yeah, uh, about that. Don't have it. Benny stole it right before he stabbed us in the back. He's probably back at the strip by now, laughing at me. What's the negotiate? The NCR backs off. We walk out of here and nobody gets hurt. I can't believe I'm doing this. But all right, the hostages can go. The NCR had better keep their end of the deal, though. Here, a souvenir for you. It's Benny's lighter. Shove it up his ass when you catch up with him. Oh, I might. So. Yeah, go on. <sighs> okay, I don't think I leveled up, did I? Damn, man, I'm like an inch away from leveling up. <sighs> well, we're gonna find out in a minute, aren't we? I can't believe this is saved. McMurphy? Not McMurphy. Oh, that sucks, man. McMurphy was my favorite. Um, let's talk to Jessup. I'm getting real tired of talking. I'm sorry. Yeah? I'm what? He's one of the chairmen. Big shots that run the Tops Casino in New Vegas. A friend from the city contacted me with info on a big job. I should have known that the caps were too good to be true. There was still no way I could pass up the chance. Hmm. He's a snake, that's why. He owed us the rest of the pay for the job, so maybe he didn't want to pay up. It's just a big fancy poker chip, as far as I know. Don't know why anyone would make one out of platinum, though. Fine. So yeah, that's... Hello. <laughs> Hello. That's Jessup's story, basically. Um... Now, I'm quick saving out here because if I can, I'd love to resolve this peacefully. <laughs> I just don't think I have, I have like how much XP till I level up. Uh, probably like five. I would not even be shocked. Holy shit, I was so close. I only need nine XP. God damn it. Uh, all I need is like... No, don't drink the dirty toilet water. Drag the fucking meth out of there. Okay. Um, all I need is, like, one item. Like, <laughs> I need to find a location or open up a lockbox or something. Fucking anything. I am tempted to go in there and open up one of their ammo boxes if I can. Because I, I genuinely don't know if I can get a level up off of this. I know I could probably get one from doing a really dumb challenge. Like, <laughs> there's probably one I can do. No, I- oh, perfect. Yes, this is enough. I just gotta not whiff a very easy lock. Hey. Hey, sup? Awesome. So fucking metal looking, man. Uh, let's go ahead and get speech up to 64. Uh, well, actually, let's go up to 60, and then we'll put science at 64 that way. Well, we'll put it into explosives, and then we can work on uh, getting pretty much, you know, g what's it called? Grunt unlocked as well for our next level up perk. I don't think there's anything interesting up here. I think these guys are just going to hunker around and do whatever. And we should complete this quest pretty quickly. Uh, Ring-a-ding is 
very easy to complete as well. If you have Black Widow and you're a female character, it makes it a lot easier. Um, we'll get to that when we get there. But, um, yeah, we can do the Great Con Showdown and get, a, I think, a pretty good chunk of XP from this as well. I'm glad you were able to get my people freed, but there's a new problem. I just got orders to take out the Great Cons, hostages or not. My hands are tied. I can't go against orders, can I? I don't know, man. Are you a person? You're right. Great cons are free to go. Wow. I thought I needed fucking... Oh, I was worried about nothing. NCR fame is great. Accepted is also nice. And, of course, the XP is pretty dope, too. So, damn. We got a lot of shit done this episode, and, uh... Getting closer and closer, man. Making the game slightly easier, but in the best way possible. I'll see you in the next one. What is wrong with my pants?